Madeline desapareció el 3 de mayo de este año y han pasado por lo menos cuatro meses desde que ella no está. ¿Cómo podían describir lo que ustedes han vivido durante todo este tiempo? That's certainly been the worst four months of our lives. Um, every day is very hard without Madeline. Um, we all miss her so much. And it certainly feels like there's a big void in our life without her. Mm. I'm sure most people can imagine um, how bad it was that first night when we discovered her gone and uh, how terrifying it was and uh, and it is, is Most parents would say the parents' worst nightmare. ¿De dónde sacan eh, fuerza y esperanza para seguir adelante? I think the key thing that we've tried to do is channel all of our emotions and energy into influencing the search for Madeline, and that's what drives us forward that uh, we do still have some influence um, on it. And I think as parents, it would be the last thing that we want to do is look back in a few months time and say, I wish we had done this. We've also got two other children and it's yeah. very important that we're there for them as well. We've had, I mean, our families have given us tremendous support, you know, absolutely amazing. And you just got to keep hoping really that, you know, they're going to find her. I mean, that's the bottom line. I mean, we're not detectives. Um, like everybody else, we can speculate, but speculation doesn't help. Um, the hardest thing, I think, is that, and this would be the case whether we were in Britain, the United States or any other country, For us, it's difficult because Madeline hasn't been found. And you don't know um, whether she would have been found at, by this time in any other country, given the same circumstances. And also, additionally, we have learned a lot about child abduction, uh, both in Europe and also from North America where they have the best collection of statistics and there are lots of individual cases of children being recovered after long abductions and that's the key message that you know, there is hope and other families have proven that there is hope until you know for certain and that's what we um, are very much and all our family believe we're not going to give up on Madeline Um, and we're going to keep looking for her.